Okay, so for today's tutorial, um, the most important thing you need is your boning. So I'm going to be using this type of boning for this tutorial. I'll be using the sewable boning for this tutorial. So you can also use the plastic boning. Um, for the plastic boning, I suggest you you make your casing first then you now insert your boning that's the plastic boning inside the casing so that's it but for today's illustration and for today's tutorial i'm going to be making use of the sewable boning only so as you saw initially the measurement is not even up to half an inch so now we're going to be making a casing of one and a half inches that's the width will be one and a half inches and for my length i'll be using 20 inches for my length and i'll be adding two inches allowance to that 20 making 22 inches so for you when you're making if you're making more than two or three i suggest the length should vary and it should not be like two inches different yeah maybe the first one should be 20 inches the second one will be 15 the third you get give a little bit gap in your spacing so i told you before that my length will be 22 inch 20 plus two inches for my allowance that's 22 and since my material or the lace fabric i'm using is on fold i'm going to divide the 22 into two making 11 inches so i'll be measuring 11 inches and i'll be using a marker a blue marker to illustrate so that you guys can see my lines clearly so my length is 11 and I told you I'll be using a width of, of one and a half inches. So right now we're going to cut so if you're using the swivel boning we're going to wrap this casing we just cut on the swivel boning just like this so we're going to wrap it please look the, the way I did my just look at the way I did my I'm going to leave one inches at the top I'm leaving one inches at the top then I'm going to wrap the boning inside this lace fabric I cut then I'm going to sew at the edge you know for this type of boning you can actually sew at the edge so so that's where we're going to sew this one as you can see i told you we're going to leave one inches at the top so just look at the way i'm wrapping neatly so when you do it like this then you're going to sew at the tip of the boning at the tip of the material making sure you're sewing the boning and the material or your lace fabric or your casing together so now i've sewn it we're going to trim off this rough edges with our scissors as you can see look at my stitches 
at the boning at the tip of the boning if you're using um an ankara fabric for this you can also make a casing separate then you attach your boning inside the casing it can still go it's it will go yeah it will so but for me i want to do it like this i want to do it like this so this is it very simple you can also use um a candle to burn the rough edges just to have a smooth edge so where is this so those allowance we left initially that's where we're going to join everything maybe if you're making um four of this those allowances you left that's where you're going to use your needle and thread to join it together then you attach it to your dress so i'm going to be making another one so that you guys can see and understand more clearly i'm sorry for this so i'm going to be using i was supposed to use um a shorter length but i used the same length for this for the second one so please for yours like i told you before please use something shorter if um you want to make if you want to make a different sizes of the structure but maybe maybe i don't know if you want to make the same size then you can use the same length like me but it wasn't intentional anyway it was a mistake i made a mistake here so um i still use the 10 that's making since my fabric is on fold that's 20 inches so the length i used 20 again and the width i used one and a half inches just like on the first one So here it is so now we're going to wrap our boning on it just the way we did the, the first one so please watch carefully also in case you missed the first one So here yeah, I'm just explaining that um when you're making this type of structure, um you know the boning they have um a curved part. So when you want to curve your structure or when you want to curve it, you go with the flow of the boning. Don't go against the flow. I don't know if you understand what I mean. You go with the flow of the boning don't go against the flow that's what i was explaining there so i guess you saw what i did i wrapped it and i went to sew and i finished sewing i'm trimming the edges like i told you before you can use fire to smoothen the edge if your materials have is removing hairs or thread yeah 
so here is it i've made the second one so you can join it like this can join it like this those um allowances you gave at the top and at the bottom that is where you're going to use your needle and thread to join it together and it's absolutely necessary that you give that allowance it's very important that you give that allowance so this is it i'm just showing you if I had made a shorter one i'm just showing you how i would have arranged it but you know my was of the same length so i'm just trying to arrange it to just show you what it would have looked like if it was short so this is it on my mom so I'm just trying to attach it on my mom so that you guys can see. So like I said, you just use a needle and thread, your needle and thread to hold it or to tack it on the dress. So if you have made many, if you made make many, sorry, if you made many of this, you just like use your needle and thread and hold it down. Like I said, this band is of the same size. So this is how if i wanted to fix it i will fix it like this then use trimmings to cover the down all right thank you